One of the only birthing centers in Springfield is closing its doors this month, and now moms to be are scrambling for options before their due date. Elizabeth Van Mitri is live outside of the Family Birth and Wellness Center with more on what families can do now. Elizabeth. Yes, Lee, the last due date that will be able to be seen at this center behind me is February 28th. The Family Wellness uh, Birth and Wellness Center is kind of a mixture between an at-home birth and a hospital, maybe a nice middle ground. I spoke to a mother today who is just a few weeks away from giving birth to her child. She says if it wasn't for an Instagram message, she might not know that she won't be able to give birth at this center. In our baby, we don't know what we're having, so it's been a secret for us. Jaden Cheryl is 36 weeks pregnant and still doesn't know the ginger of the baby. Should we just find out? No, no, nope. we're already this far. We're going to wait. It's not the only thing they don't know about their baby. They don't know where he or she is being born either. The game plan was to deliver at the Family Birth and Wellness Center. I heard that Family Birth and Wellness is closing. Are you still able to give birth there? And I was like, that's news to me. I'm four weeks away from delivering and I have not heard anything. Some families got this email. Others say they did not. Some may still not know today. Kaylin King, a local doula, says the last 24 hours have been difficult for her clients who plan to use the center. It's devastating and it's really, really sad and I'm upset for our clients and I'm upset for our community. Those planning to give birth in just a few weeks are now trying to figure out what to do next. There are several other providers in town that will be able to step up and help, but this is just now so many people are having to step in and help these families when they were already at max capacity. Mary Walsh was the former owner of the center. She sold it in 2021 after 10 years. She says finding help will be difficult. Providers don't like to take people on late in pregnancy. They're usually booked up and whether they're trying to find a new OB or a new midwife or whatever they're looking for, it's really difficult to even find care at this point. And families are wondering how they're going to be able to afford this new expense. The thing about birthing centers is they don't accept insurance, so we're already out of pocket thousands of dollars. Now, the parents and patients that we've spoken to said that they've reached out and have not found out how they're or if they're going to be able to get their money back from the money that they have already put in. We're going to have the owner's statement in a second, but first, moms to be, if you're watching, I want to let you know I did reach out to Mercy Midwives today. They are totally aware of this situation and they are working right now to get more patients in. They're a good resource right now on ky3.com. I've worked today to gather all sorts of resources available to you, including a support group to help you find what you need to be able to at least get the ball rolling to get started on those next steps, along with the community event happening on Friday with Flourish Family Doulas. They're getting uh, moms together. They can come in, stop by, and just ask questions to know what those next steps look like. That's all on ky3.com right now. I've got links available there. Reporting in Springfield, Elizabeth Van Mitri. Back to you. Now, we did reach out to the owner of the center, Dr. Stephen Lohr. The chiropractor bought the birthing center last year. He didn't get back with us, but this afternoon, it appears that he posted on the Family Birth and Wellness Facebook page. In part, it says last year he was diagnosed with an aggressive form of cancer and was forced to be away from the practice for months. While Dr. Lohr was out, the center lost a lot of employees, and he says they haven't been able to hire more staff. He also mentioned the business has been operating at a financial loss for some time. Dr. Lohr promised in the post that they are developing a plan for the mothers to transition to other providers in town.